Hi guys, my name is Selena Simakno and welcome back to the Radbaut University YouTube channel. If this is your first time, then please enjoy your stay. Um, a few things have changed here. As you can see, my hair is now short and I'm welcoming you from my new home. I no longer live in a student dorm. I live in an actual house, so that's new. Anyways, speaking of new, we also have a new influx of freshmen this year and me and Alexandra thought it would be a good idea to go to them, ask them what they wish they knew before they came to the Netherlands and the university. Let's get into it. The first thing they wish they knew was where all the cheap stores were. Um, in my experience, the cheaper stores include Action, Aldi, and sometimes Senos. But it is really a process. You need to go to all of the grocery stores, all of the home appliances, and you really need to compare prices before you buy anything because a few euros make a huge difference in your budgeting. Next thing they wish they knew was that you can buy a cheap but still good quality bike. So actually a lot of Dutch students usually just buy secondhand bikes and a lot of the times they're not bad at all. A lot of, in a lot of countries, Secondhand tends to mean that it's almost like half broken down and you can't really use it and the repairing is just going to cost more than the actual bike. But if you know your bikes, if you have experience with it, there's a good chance that you'll find a completely great bike that will work just fine. Maybe you need to oil up the or grease up the chains a little bit, but a lot of the times it's completely okay. So you really do not have to break the bank and buy yourself a new state-of-the-art bike at all. Okay, next thing that freshmen wish they knew was that a lot of stores don't accept master card or visa. Um, it's actually just a good idea to open a Dutch bank account right away. Next thing that they wish they knew was that um, how to apply for a tuition-free loan. So I'll look for a link and I'll put it in the down are below the description below um, but yes that's completely possible even if you're an international student a lot of the times you can get loans um, there are usually uh, rules or qualifications sometimes you have to make sure that you will be staying in the country or you will for the next five years or you will have to um, complete your education within 10 years there are a bunch of different um, things you have to make sure you follow if you do take a loan and another thing that they didn't expect and they wish they knew was that finding housing in the Netherlands is really hard. If you're lucky enough to be able to not only afford SSH but also to be able to get the right dorm that you want, um, then it's a lot easier and a lot of the times it's very convenient. I used to live in an SSH dorm and it was really easy because I was super close to the train station, bus station, to the city, and I could cycle to the university. But a lot of the times, once you get out of your first year, SSH no longer helps you, and then it's like the real Hunger Games begins. Like, I spent an entire summer just refreshing and refreshing Facebook pages upon Facebook groups, and I kept sending messages to all these house tenants and people who lived in student housings just to make sure that I could secure a spot and an interview. Um, and thankfully, I was able to get this um, room, which is a little bit bigger than the room than the dorm I used to live in. Um, but I was lucky because I was able to secure it through just one Skype interview and my Oma actually came over to help me and she scoped out the place. But a lot of people aren't as lucky and it is really difficult and a lot of the times you don't get a lot of um, administrative help. You don't get, it's, it's just very much like the odds have to be in your favor. Um, so it's not guaranteed and that can be really draining and really scary So my tip is that in your first year just keep that in mind like already Start discussing with maybe fellow Dutch students who are living in student housings and see what you can do to make sure that if somebody is leaving Then you can get you know you get the first dibs to that room 
um, just make sure you network well and you keep your eye open for the whole first year instead of just leaving it to the last minute. Another thing that the freshmen wish they knew was that the Netherlands has a very meeting-oriented culture. So with the Dutch, and actually just really anyone, especially in an academic setting, it's much, much easier to just set up a meeting, even if it's only for 15 minutes, rather than talk through email or talk through WhatsApp. People here are quite communicative and direct, so they like to meet you face to face and just make sure that it gets out of the way so there's no misunderstandings. Um, so if you ever need anything, if you ever have any struggles with your studies, for example, if you want a new deadline, or if you want an extension, or if you're applying for a job, or if you're interested in helping someone out, like just make sure that you meet them face to face. Another very, very big academic thing is that they wish they knew that university starts right away. Um, I was quite aware of this because <laughs> obviously I go out of my way to go on YouTube um, and look for other people's experiences. Um, with university, but a lot of them always say, and I will be the one to say it to you this time, that university, there's no break, right? Summer ends, you go into class, you sit down and you have to listen to a lecture. You have to right away write down all the deadlines. Another thing that not everybody ex is experienced with is how technologically advanced the university is. Um, for me, I went to a high school where I was able to bring my laptop and take notes from there and we had our own version of Brightspace, but in the Dot Belt, we use Brightspace, um, and that's where we submit all of our works, even if it's just little assignments and not big essays. Um, that's where our syllabus is, and we also have student cards where you can um, put money in it, and then you can use it to print things. So we have printers on campus, and we have computers on campus that are connected to those printers, um, we also have libraries where we have an online system to borrow or return books. So a lot of things are very technology based and a, not a lot of people are um, used to that. So if you are struggling with that, then please do reach out to someone. A lot of the times you can ask a professor, you can go to the library and there are people there um, behind the counter and they're always very helpful so you can always ask them a question you don't have to be embarrassed about it if you don't understand Brightspace then please ask a fellow classmate because chances are there's someone that does um, so don't really worry too much about it um, be aware that it is that way but of course you can always get help and last but not least uh, one of the freshmen said that um, they wish they knew how good stroke waffles are and I think that's a great way to end this video because I wholeheartedly agree If you don't know what a stroke waffle is, it's basically a thin crisp waffle and there are two layers and then in the middle is just caramel In the city actually during the weekends I think you can get fresh stroke waffles so instead of like these size you get a big one and they put the caramel and it's still warm and it's just the best treat especially during the fall when it starts to get a bit when it starts to get a bit cold so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned a few things and I hope that you will keep this in mind before you come to the Netherlands or you apply and arrive at the Rathbout and I hope if you are a freshman you will enjoy all of your experiences and take the difficult things in stride and use them as learning experiences. Um, that's it from me really. Um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! My name is Lena Smokno and welcome back to the Radboud YouTube University- what? Okay, rewind. Sorry, speaking has escaped me. So, um, all right, whatever, just cut that part where I like literally blanked out. Cool, let's end this video.